Hey everybody, this is Joseph and welcome to another QML tutorial. And in this tutorial, we're going to learn how to build an application that includes C++ in it. Um, so let's just get started. We click, uh, you know, File New or Control N and we press Qt Quick Applications. Then Qt Quick Application right here. And uh, we press Choose, give it a name, I'll say CPP. Uh, QML part one. And I'm going to save this underneath my uh, QML tutorials. Okay, press next. I'm gonna pick Qt Quick 2.3, and we're gonna pick our kit, in my case, 5.3. Press next, no version control, press next. Okie dokie. So it presents us with our normal old C, or our normal old uh, QML that we're used to. Um, besides the window that's been new and added, uh, Anyways, uh, let's take a look at this file right here. This is the .pro file, and th what this file does is, uh, so let's back up one step. Let's go over to our Projects tab right here. Okay, <coughs> excuse me. If we look at Build Steps right here, we can see that the first one runs QMake, right? If we click on this, we can look at the details. And it says, run QMake under Home, blah, 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 and look for this file right here, right? And then from there, add these specs to it, right? So what QMake does is this is a tool that's built into uh, Qt itself. It makes make files, right? So it generates make files, okay? So after it does that, it says, hey, let's run make in here, right? Okay, and then there's no arguments and it's just user bin make. And if we wanted to run with our own version of make, we can enter in more, so on and so forth. Um, Yes, so let's go back over here again to that profile again and look at that. So this is uh, what are called QMake variables right here. Um, this variable right here is our template and there are different types of templates like apps and subdirectories and libraries. Um, Qt, okay, says, I want to include these libraries, right? And any of their dependencies that are used when building this application. The sources, okay, is our is our C++ sources files. And then we could also have headers too, which we'll get into later on. Our resources file right here um, is a resource file. And if you watch the Void Realms tutorials, you know what a resource file is. QML import path is not important at this point. Uh, is not important at this point, but we will discuss it later on because we're well, we're obviously not including any other uh, import paths. And then we have this deployment.pri file, which is, as you can see, it says the default uh, rules for deployment. So let's take a look at our project file again. Let's go over to our run settings right here and it says deploy locally. And it says, you know, our working directory is here and the executable is there. So back over to our edit screen and we're going to click on the run button here so we can see on the compilation tab let's just close this if we go back over to our compilation tab we can see what it did for each single step right so it says starting out it's going to run qmake right on that file right there this file right so it generated the make files and it says it exit normally and it generated the make files so now it's actually going to run the make files right Okay, so it's going in and it's saying, hey, find this right here, right, and compile it, okay? So if we go over to here, that is this file, and we can open it in our editor, and we can see that inside of it, it has our main.qml, right? And then it says, you know, there should be a, uh, for the main.cpp, there should be one for that. We're not installing it, probably. And anyways, so you can see that it's including these libraries also, Qt Network, QML, and there should be Qt Quick, and the core, and the GUI. That's because these are all dependencies of these two right here, right? 
if they were not dependencies and we needed to say something like SQL, we could add SQL to it right there, and then it would include the SQL library inside of it, right? So now we have this down here, this deployment.pri file. Um, what this does is if we are installing our application, this makes it so that we can uh, we can install things, right? So if we actually go over to our projects tab right here, and we go down to the, well, let's actually go over to the build environment, and let's say add a build step, make, and we're gonna call it install, okay? That's it, that's all we have to do. Let's go back over to our edit tab over here, and let's take a look at this deployment.pri file. So each one of these is the standard for the uh, OS or the type of OS. So this one says, hey, if you are an Android no, with no SDK installed, let's take our target, which is our application, and here is the path that we are going to set it to. Now we want to install that target. Okay, if we're Android with x86, this is where we want to install it, else if we're so on and so forth. Down here where it says else Unix, which I'm on Linux right now, says if it's not, if it's empty, which it should be, uh, you know, install to QNX right here, right? Which I'm not on QNX, so here I am right here. And it says target path equals opt, and then the target name, which in our case is CPP QML part one. We could of course change that in our QMake file. We could look at the variables. And I guess this is a good time. If we wanted to look at the variables, we can go over to the help and we can type in QMake. And then we can look at the variable references and display them and look at what each one of the variables does, so to say. Um, if we look at target right here, we can see that what the target does specifies the name of the target file contained in the base of the project file directory. Um, so on and so forth. If we wanted to look at, you know, say there's a lot of them and it's a little over daunting, but if you take your time with it, it'll it'll work out. So it, say we wanted to look at Qt right here. This tells us what X, what other libraries could be included inside of it, right? Or if we wanted to say look for say uh, I don't know um, what's another one inside of our edit file here that in our uh, oh, the template one. If we wanted to look for the template one, again, we can go back over to the help and look at our templates. And we can see if the make file for building applications or libraries or subdirectories, so on and so forth. So that's where you can find out about QMake files. So anyways, we had changed our we had added a rule to make install. Now, sometimes on your operating system, if we go back over to our deployment, we know that we're going to be installing to opt the target name and then a folder called bin, which um, in our case would be opt CPP QML pat one uh, bin directory. And then underneath that would have our, our binary, um, of course, which we call CPP QML pat one. But sometimes you have uh, you have permission errors. So if I'm actually to run this right here, it says target install. We go back over to our compilation tag and it says right here, right there, make directory, cannot create directory, permission denied, right? So let's go ahead and copy this and I'm gonna create this directory. Of course, I could change opt right here if I wanted to, but I'm just gonna go over and open up a terminal here and I'm gonna make that directory. Okay, and then I am going to change the ownership of that directory to be me. Um, and of course, if you're on a different operating system than Linux, you can do this many different ways. Uh, but for me, I'm just gonna do it this way because that's pretty easy for me. Um, and now if I run this, you can see that it installed to there to opt QML bin one, blah, blah, blah. We can press the uh, quit button right here is what we're used to. And what we can do now, in, so let's, let's look at uh, projects again. And we go to our run tab, you can see that it, it run configures, but it's running from our build directory, right? Which we can change, but we're also gonna do this. We're gonna say custom executable, the executable is located right there in the build directory, or I'm sorry, not the build directory, the working directory is going to be there. 
right? Now we can go back over to our build over here and we can say instead of like, you know, QML tutorials, build CPP, so on and so forth, we could just say build and let's go back over to our edit button and run that. And now it's going to build in that directory instead. So now we have kind of a better workflow going on here. Um, is there anything else that I need to discuss in this tutorial? Oh yeah, so let's look at the main.cpp file. And if you haven't watched the Void Realms tutorials, um, I highly suggest it. It was in the last video that I discussed. Um, anyways, so we have a GUI application and we have our QML application engine. Of course, we can hover over this and then wait or press F1 if it is selected and it tells us all about it in the help page. But basically we're telling the engine, right? We, we called it engine, that it needs to load in this QRL right here, which is our Q resources file, which is the main.qml file. So that's how it knows like the main file on how it's going to load um, on its startup. And this is where we'll start out with adding some code uh, for in our next tutorial when we actually do start exposing things to QML. We'll actually add some code right in there, right in between. Whoops right in between here. So uh, until then, I am Joseph. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If not, there'll be better ones coming along. Uh, be nice to everybody out there. And